Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and today I have the second part of my double page layout that I'm adding together. This is a sketch that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to also be using that same collection, Lost and Found, by My Mind's Eye. I do have the 12 by 12 paper pad that I picked up from Tuesday morning a long time ago. So for this particular layout, I am going to use white cardstock. I did look through the papers trying to find um, some cardstock to kind of back so that I would have a pattern paper for my background but I just couldn't find anything that I liked so I went ahead and took this paper and I just cut the train part off of it I knew that I was going to be covering up most of it and I just kind of wanted that grid line paper on the background so I did gut my paper I do seem to be matting a lot of my photos on white cardstock right now and to kind of prevent from using white full 12 by 12 sheets of paper, I am trying to gut as much of the white cardstock as I can. This particular sketch calls for a set of banners up in the upper right hand corner. So I'm just going through some of my scraps and pattern paper and six by six paper pads to pull out those scraps. So I do end up with a green gingham paper, a brown, blue, green colored striped, and then like a really light blue as well as like a really stark like teal color blue. So once I get the grid paper down, I go ahead and use some washi tape on the back so that it doesn't get snagged when I put it in my album. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down the banner pieces. The green gigum paper is super big and it does call for one larger banner and then kind of three smaller ones. And then it also does call for some stitching. So once I get these down, I do ink them in the black soot as well. And this is gonna tie into the layout that I did with my mom and Eli from the same day. So I did kind of struggle a little bit with some of these banner pieces because they just didn't wanna lay down properly. I finally get them down and then I go ahead and use my zero centering ruler. It does have some holes in it. It is linked below if you would like to pick up this particular ruler. It has many uses. I use it for punching holes uh, when I'm doing my stitching, it also has lines for you to be able to do your journaling on. So you can uh, write in pencil those journaling lines and then you can write with it and then erase them if needed. So for this particular one, I'm going to go ahead and just do two lines across the banner pieces. And then I have this sage color thread that I'm going to do a simple back stitch with those two stripe pieces. So I did zoom in quite a bit so that you can kind of see some of the details if you haven't done a backstitch before. The sketch itself calls for three two by three photos, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. And I had zoomed in so much, and I forgot to zoom out. And then I am looking for the photo, and I cannot find it anywhere. I have no idea what happened. It was in the list. Like, I even went on to the Walmart app and saw that the photo was there, but it is nowhere near, anywhere in any of the photos. I looked several times. So I asked my mom if she would reprint it for me because she does print at home and I just wanted to get it done. So she does do that and she brings it to me and I add it. And it's actually kind of funny because you can definitely tell the difference between them because the photos from Walmart are a lot darker and have more of a richer tone. Whereas the photo that she printed is a lot lighter. Um, and I, at this point, am just going with it. I. I am okay. It's the photo that is there. I do go ahead and back it. So I just went ahead and put the mat down is a far away photo of Eli and his mom. And then the three photos that you can see there, the two by threes are really close ups. So I'm just like, mm, it is what it is. And I am not going to stress it. The photos are scrapped. They are going to go in the album and we're going to be good with it. So I do go ahead and put the three smaller photos up on fun foam and I do cut out a strip of the fun foam on one of them because when it lays over the thread, even though the thread is not that thick, it doesn't lay right. So I just went ahead and cut out a strip for it. And as I am looking at this layout, I just realized that I totally missed a like one little hole. It's in the lower left hand corner. Can you see it? I missed a hole. So <laughs> there is like one spot there that doesn't have threading. Again, I'm just going to go with it. So I have all of the photos down. 
Now I'm working on the title. The title is going to be Sweet Life. There were these little banner pieces that came with the ephemera pack and it said the word sweet and then I found the stickers in like a really pretty navy blue that has like glitter on it and at first I was like oh, I'm going to put the word life over to the far left and then add the sweet above it but there wasn't enough space. So I move it over to the far right and then add the banner pieces right next to it. I did also pull out a blue heart and add it down to the bottom cluster so that I could have that navy color in both clusters. So of course I struggle with the title because if I don't struggle with things, then obviously I didn't do the layout. Over in the upper left-hand corner there, I'm gonna go ahead and start that embellishment. I do use a heart punch and I punch out some glitter paper. It matches the glitter paper that's on the other layout that I did where I did a tag. And then I also put in a black floral, which is also a similar flower that is on the other layout. And then I do bring in the layout. You can see here, I forgot to put a piece of string in the tag hole. And since I did have some extra string from the thread that I used to stitch around the square, I went ahead and added that to that other layout. So you can see both of the layouts here as I am working on figuring out what I'm going to do next. Then I realized that I needed some thread in the holes for the title suite. So I go ahead and add each one of those in. Here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. And then I also have the double page spread as how it's going to sit in my album. Again, both of these sets of photos were taken on the same day uh, just some pictures of Eli with my mom in one and then some pictures of Eli with his mom in the other one and I like how they obviously use the same line I pulled in the same colors but they are vastly different but still coordinate very well together all right, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you wanna see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.